If you like my creation of what you've seen in this video or my channel, feel free and share. And if you prefer, you can subscribe. So, let's create. Pudding de pan puertorriqueño or Puerto Rican bread pudding. This one is going to have raisins, which have about maybe three little boxes. And I'm soaking them with some rum. You can do it with brandy. Just a little bit, you don't go crazy. You also going to need about a cup and a half of sugar. I'm going brown, you can use the regular white sugar. Four eggs, which are buttered. Clearly bread, doesn't matter what type, meaning it could be white bread, like slice. Or you can go with the traditional Puerto Rican bread or the French bread, you know, the loaf. Um, I also have some powdered cinnamon, some ground clove, which is optional. I have uh, here three um, evaporated milk. You might need two, but I'll have three cans just in case. I like that coconut uh, taste to things, so I have a uh, a can of coconut milk, and also has some condensed milk. I choose the coconut condensed milk, which is sweetened already. Um, you can use regular condensed milk, but I went with the coconut one. And I have some vanilla extract. And you might need a little bit of salt too, by the way. Also melting an entire bar of butter. Let it cool down a little bit before you start using it. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to break this bread. Break into smaller pieces. You know, like this big. Once again, you can do this with any type of bread. So what I did with the sugar, I put a high heat, you can put a medium high, depending on the stove. And what you're going to do, you're going to caramelize it. If you use white sugar, it's going to turn like a caramel looking color. That works too. As the sugar caramelizes, now it's time, and you have the bread broken down. This is about 20 ounces of bread, which is about a pound, uh, one pound and four ounces. And you're going to have a bigger container because you're going to start putting the mix together. So let's start putting things together. I'm going to start with the coconut milk, one can. This is the 13.5 ounces. I'm going to add some of the evaporated milk. Started with one can. I'm going to hold on the other one and I'm going to show you why. The reason is because I'm going to put the uh, sweetened condensed milk. This one is coconut, you can use regular. And it's so, um, uh, you know, kind of thick. I like to keep a little bit of the uh, other milk. So what I do is, this, before I do a second time, I put some here. You know, I like mix it up. That way I can get every single side. So it's two cans of milk, one of condensate. Going to add the raisins. Going to add some of the uh, cinnamon powder. Just a little bit. Also going to add a little bit of the ground clove, about one quarter of a teaspoon. And 
and I'm going to add a little bit of the vanilla extract. If I can open this. <laughs> Few drops. If you happen to have vanilla, that's fine too. I'm going to mix everything together. Mix it well. And I'm going to start adding the bread. And you want this bread to soak in this. My instincts were correct because this is over a pound of bread. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the evaporated milk. Might tell you three cans actually. Let it soak in. Mix things up a little bit. Add to four eggs. I'm going to add the melted butter too. It's unsalted, so I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. What I call a pinch, you know. Mix things well. That's key, let it soak in. If it's too liquidy, don't worry about it. It's supposed to be like that. it up. So I'm using different sizes of containers. I have a little one, I have this one, I have the aluminum type. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of that sugar. And this one is dark because I went with brown sugar. But if you would have gone with white, it would have given you more caramelized color. Let me put this down here. Put some on the sides. And what you do now is you start adding some of the mix. For this one, I use white sugar that caramelized just to show you how lighter looks. I like to float it around so the sides get some too. Add some of this stuff here.
I got my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I got a little a larger pan, oven friendly. I put some water, not all the way up. It's a little bit below half. This is what we call El Baño de Maria or Maria's Bath. And I'm going to put these babies here. In fact, I'm going to feed this one here too. Why not? Right? Let's put it there too. And I'm going to put them in the oven. And I think I'm going to prepare them for about an hour. But I'm going to check them out in 45 minutes just to make sure. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After about an hour and 20 minutes, I give it a test. See, came out clean. It's ready. I just come to remove it. Let it cool at room temperature. Then put in the refrigerator. And then you can flip it and eat your pudding. Pudding, the pan.